Hello? Okay. I can hear you now, Kent. Hello. Hello. Go ahead, Kent. You okay, got it. Maria. You're on. Said. Yes. What I'll never understand is, as I understand it, maybe it's incorrect, that this cop that did this illegal hole, it was a, it was a hole that we're told not to do, had 18 write-ups, I understand. How does he remain on the force? And for certainly, how does he remain in a non-administrative position? But beyond that, Maria, look at the sadness of who's really hurt through this whole thing. These people who live in these communities that had the convenience of all these shops and all these stores. I was talking last That's night right. to Brian Cornell, chairman of Target, and he told me that Target will be fine because they've got a strong balance sheet and they'll reopen those stores. But a lot of these little merchants, and Brian mentioned to me that Target made a $6 million donation to a place called Northside in, in Minneapolis. Apparently, it's an economically depressed area to rebuild it up. All those shopkeepers in those little communities, they're done. They're done. And these are the people that we're reaching out to try to help. I don't know the answer, but Maria, all I can tell you is it's a sad day in America. And frankly, I wish it was a different day for one reason. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, this morning Eli Lilly announced that they've begun testing a therapeutic for the virus. And NYU Langone yes. is one of the test sites. Uh, we did our first patient on Friday. And prayfully, we'll have something. But back to the situation, Maria, I asked all these well, people. Well, Ken, let me, just, let me just stop you right there because we're going to speak w with the CEO of Eli Lilly coming up right after you. And he's going to walk us through this antibodies test, yes. And he's so I want to get your take on that. How critical is it to get the antibodies of someone who has had the disease and create an immunity for others who may be vulnerable? Well, let's be careful. Let's be careful. This is a synthetic. This is something that they developed out of a, a little company up in Vancouver that Lilly made a deal with about two months ago. And to Lilly's credit, it's doing all this work right now with no profit incentive at all, none. The important thing, Maria, is it's being tested double blind, so we don't know which of the patients are getting the product and which of the patients are getting the placebo. But the big thing is we're taking people that are well sick, and we're administering them either the placebo or the active ingredient. But it's an exciting development. We are very, I want to be clear, we are very, very optimistic about the promise it sounds like you're covering your mic, Ken. I'm sorry. On a day when we should be celebrating this development, prayfully, as the first yeah. step in a step dealing with the horrible virus we've got, instead we're looking at all these poor people. And a per, on a personal level, Maria, I was very active yeah. in the yeah. restoration of St. Pat's Cathedral. And when I, I saw the are. graffiti, yep. when I saw the graffiti they put on the side of St. Patrick's Cathedral, it broke my heart. It absolutely broke my heart. I don't understand this, Maria. I'm sure it There's did. no gain for anybody. And the biggest losers, as I said, are these wonderful people who live in these communities that we're trying to economically restore. Yep. Why? Now, Ken, I, before this happened, you, you were seeing an effort to reopen the economy. Before you go, Ken, what's your take on the reopening? I mean, this is obviously just going to elongate the stress that we're all feeling. But when you see much of the country now trying and efforting a reopening, uh, how do you feel about getting back to normalization at some point? And when well, might that be? Real quick, Ken. Well, now you've got the cops dealing with two issues. They have to deal with a rioting, right. and they have to deal with to make certain that people adhere to whatever the restrictions are on opening up. We're going to open up. We will open up. I have no doubt about that. The problem yes, is it's true. we need people to help us administer how it works. And the more time you take from a cop or policeman or whoever for an effort like the riots, the less time they have to help us in dealing with managing, and that's what it is, it's managing the reopening. This is sad. This is Very a tragedy. Sad. I don't Very know the sad. answer, Maria. It's very, very sad. And, and instead, as you, 
as you said, we should be we should be celebrating what's going on in terms of the efforts for a vaccine. We'll speak with Dave Indeed. Ricks, the Eli Lilly CEO, coming up. Ken, it's great to have you and your insights well, uh, as, Maria, uh, as the country works to come back. Maria, one thing more. Let's never play down what that cop did in Minneapolis. It was horrible. That's right. It was horrible. And it should not be allowed. It should not be part of America, ever. That's you know, you don't want to believe it. I, I, I didn't want to believe it. I mean, I, I didn't think <clears throat> that this existed the way, but the pictures, are, it's, it's oh, obvious in our faces, and it has I got know. to stop. It, we all want truth. Honesty, the rule of law, and we want equality for all. It has got to stop. Ken, thank Amen, you Marie. very much for weighing I in. Can't enter into that. Amen. Amen. Thank I'll, you. I'll Have see you soon, day. Ken. Thank you. Ken Bye -bye. Langone joining us there.